Hi, I'm Nick, a service engineer with Timpkin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a spherical roller bearing solid block housed unit with a double V-lock locking collar. Always be sure to wear the appropriate PPE or personal protective equipment. This can include but is not limited to steel toe boots, safety glasses, and gloves. Also, always follow the standard safety practices established by your employer. This locking collar utilizes a two-part design with a sleeve and a wedge. They're labeled on the end for easy identification. When the wedge is installed onto the sleeve, it creates an interference fit between the shaft, locking collar, and bearing bore. Note the contact between the tapers of the sleeve and the wedge. This feature prevents over-tightening. Now let's install the double V-lock using a step-by-step -step process. First, take the sleeve and back off the sleeve nut until it is flush with the end of the sleeve. Next, slide the sleeve onto the shaft. Slide the housing onto the shaft and sleeve. Lightly install the bolts. Slide the wedge onto the sleeve backwards, nut side first. Tighten the wedge nut so it draws the sleeve into the bearing, thereby seating the sleeve. Remove the wedge and slide it back onto the shaft, wedge side first. Tighten the wedge nut onto the sleeve. Once it's installed, the face of the wedge nut should be close to the end of the sleeve. The wedge nut set screws. Tighten the sleeve nut finger tight, then tighten the set screws. Make sure the housing is level relative to the base plate, then tighten the housing bolts. To turn this housing from a fixed to a float position, back off the set screw, rotate the NU nut one full rotation, then retighten the set screw. This can be done to one or both sides. If you have any questions, contact your local Timpkin sales or service engineer.